welcome back to Relatable Girl. Um, this is going to be a special, slightly different video than usual. I am going to do sort of um, like the drunk history version of cats, but without the drunk and without the history because I don't actually know almost anything about cats. So let's talk about that. My really good friend Crystal um, came to visit me in the city last year or the year before. The year before? Two years ago? Was it two years ago? Wow. We are old. Time goes by. Time is a thing. Anyway, she came and visited and she got us tickets to see Cats. Cats is like her favorite thing, along with Muse, who is both of our favorite band. So Crystal was so excited about seeing Cats on Broadway. She had never seen the play before um, in real life, but she had seen the movie. She's watched a ton of the performances online, whatever. She knows every word to every song. It's like me with the Phantom of the Opera, but it's her with Cats. So she asked me if I wanted to come and I said, sure, because it's something she cares about and I care about her. So I decided to go. And uh, that's how I ended up at Cats on Broadway for my first full length Broadway show. I say full length because I did um, briefly go to part of Rock of Ages when somebody I knew worked there. I went with her to work one day and sort of hung out behind the scenes, got to see like every little bit of the building, which was cool. And I got to watch part of the performance. So that was cool. But um, that being said, this was the first full Broadway show I had ever seen. So I had not only no idea what I was getting myself into with a Broadway show, but also literally no idea what Cats was. The only thing I knew about Cats was the one song that every everybody knows and I was like uh, my even my knowledge of that was from this like mixed CD that I had bought at Walmart when I was like 13 so I really did not know anything about cats going in so I'm going to try and recap cats for you from somebody who knows nothing about cats I have not done any research and I have a very bad memory so all of this is coming from my broken memory none of this has been researched again and uh, yeah, I just thought I would share it with you. And I'll say at this moment, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you should. I'm gonna be giving some amazing stuff away. You're gonna wanna make sure that you get in on that. Um, so yeah, please go check out some of my other videos. I have videos about Mr. Robot. I'm starting to do videos about The Mandalorian slash Star Wars. I have lots of stuff about allergies and stuff just about living in New York. So go check that out if you haven't and subscribe to this channel. So anyway. All right, so Cats is the story of a bunch of stray cats living on the streets of some city. We'll just say it was New York City. I don't remember. So Cats, they're living on the streets and all of the cats want to be able to go to heaven when they die. And these cats are called Jellicle Cats. And they all have interesting, weird, long names like Bombalarina and Thumbelina and I don't know, things like that. Things they add in Lena and like very long names, Mephalostophilus. <laughs> so all the cats want to be able to go to heaven, but only one cat can go to heaven. And this older cat is the one who gets to like choose which cat goes to heaven. So all the cats kind of have to like tell their life story and like why they should get to go to cat heaven. So there's like one cat that tells a story about, you know, life on the street. And there's like, these twin cats, I think, if I remember right, a boy and a girl, I think, they like tell their story and then there's like a funny one and then there's like a cat who's kind of like the mayor or something. And then there's like, oh man, is there like a fat cat, I think, and their whole thing is like how they're a fat cat, maybe. And then of course, there's uh, the sparkly guy who was basically like the Bruno Mars of the group. And he was like all cool. He had like glittery jacket and he came out and he was very 80s and fabulous. And he's like, hello everybody. And he's just like amazing. So there was that cat and he had like a cool musical number. And then there's like this one really sad street cat who's like a homeless cat and she's broken down and her clothes are in shreds. And everybody's like, oh, not her, ew. Oh yeah, I forgot there's also an old man cat who like tells stories about how things used to be back in his day. But like, so the broken down cat 
you know, she tries to tell her story, like nobody wants to listen to her. But then like later in the play, finally she gets to like do her song and she sings the famous song that we all know, the memory song. And it's so beautiful. And like, I had chills all over and goosebumps. And I was like, wow, this woman's voice is incredible. The song is beautiful. It's so much more beautiful than I ever realized. And in that moment, I just started sprouting tears, even though I had no idea what was going on. I was like picking up clues as I went, obviously, but like, I didn't have any history with the show, but the music was just so overwhelmingly beautiful. And like the orchestra was so stirring and everything was just so like emotional that I just like started crying. I just had no choice. It just came out of me and I'm like crying. I'm like, oh my God, this poor cat, her voice is so beautiful. She's about to die because she's like a homeless cat and she deserves to go to cat heaven. And then like, you know, the people or the person or what I can't remember who gets to decide like who goes to cat heaven was like, oh, it should be her. Like, you know, she should, she should get to go to cat heaven. And then there was a part where they were like rising up and, you know, like going to cat heaven or whatever. And it was really emotional. And I just remember crying a lot. And Crystal, of course, was like, she knew every word. She was loving everything. She was like giving me insider info and she was like crying at the end. This goes to show both though how bad my memory is because this is what I remember about the show and also how it looks to an outsider because I kept being like, wait, what was this person's name? And like, you know, I was also distracted by the fact that again, this was my first Broadway play, so I was, just completely blown away by how amazing the stages were how crazy it was that the actors can like dance and sing at the same time you're going to hear it in real life which is just so impressive but also the fact that they had like all these cool special effects like lights all around the place that were just like turning on turning off noises things blowing up like all this cool special effects it was just like all around you it was very immersive and at some points the cats like ran out into the audience and kind of like ran around near us so that was cool but yeah here we go into this movie now and that's all i remember from the play and so i'm very curious because not only do i not remember a lot about the play but i also have heard that they've changed some things they've like added some characters taken some characters away given some characters more important roles than they had before so it's gonna be very interesting going in and seeing the movie now with the limited knowledge that i have of the play um, I am gonna go see it. I think I might make a video after about what I think about the movie and like maybe what I actually remember. I'm sorry, that was a weird noise that you just heard. For some reason, the heater in our house just makes that noise sometimes. And it's probably the ghosts. I don't know, they're probably correcting me because I'm so bad at explaining cats to you. But that's kind of the gist of it. I mean, really, really, that's kind of the gist of how cats works. Anyway, so this movie, you know, we have Taylor Swift in this movie. We have like Jason Derulo in this movie. We have Idris Elba in this movie. We have um, a lot of other famous people in this movie. It's going to be interesting to see. I just wish so much. Again, as somebody who went into Cats with no idea, I still enjoyed it, despite the fact that it was weird that they were humans, but they were also cats. Why didn't they just keep the costumes that they had in the show? I think those were fine. I wasn't disturbed by them, even if it was a little weird. But when I see this like CGI fur that they've given them in the movie, that is not normal or cool. And it is definitely terrifying. And I'm not sure how any of us are going to feel about that. And I wish they had learned from Sonic's mistakes and fixed that. But here we are. It's going to be interesting to see what actual like purists of cats will think about um, the movie and if they'll go see it at all and like all that stuff. And it's going to be interesting to hear what Crystal thinks about it. And Crystal, I apologize when you watch this video. I know you're going to think I'm really stupid for not remembering anything more about cats than that. But I promise I felt the emotions in the moment and I really enjoyed the show. I thought it was beautiful and I don't care if people are going to laugh at me for that. It was beautiful. Like if you want to laugh, go and watch it yourself and try to sit through that big musical number without shedding tears. It's impossible, okay? 
So uh, I did get to see Phantom of the Opera recently on Broadway though and I'm going to be talking about that in a different video um, because my mom visited me and we made a little video together. So I'll talk about that in that video and that's a play that I do know extremely well. Like I know every word to all the songs in that. So I'll talk about that in a different video though. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys and if you haven't already, for real, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!